Hold it right there. A blonde-haired traveler and a floating fairy. We've got you, all right. Take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. <laughs> Are you mercenaries from the Corps of Thirty? Did you come here to arrest us? Core of 30? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only as the Outcast. The Outcast? An Outcast from the Academia? But why wouldn't the Doctor just send the Fatui after us? Still wasting time on idle chit-chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. Get them! Uh, you're up, Traveler! Following or new punching bag. Whirling snow! Solidify! <laughs> Take that! Order guide you. Gather. Time for your arraignment. Balloon. Take flight. Yeah. Ha. New punch. That's close enough. Kami Santo Art. Sumetsu. Motion to compel. Stabilize. Whirling snow. Motion to compel. Jungle. <laughs> ah, it isn't over yet! Here comes reinforcements! our guards up. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Tainari? Uh, going up against smart people is tough. Anyway, let's keep going. doing back here? Kale! It's nice to see you again! Are you doing alright? I... <sighs> to be honest, I'm not doing too well. My Elazar has been progressing at a faster rate lately. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. As a result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. He will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him. 
Oh, Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party's DI. Huh? He left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation! I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time, though. No, I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I would guess he had something urgent to take care of. Hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Amorta Darshan of the Academia. And part of the eye is something like the Amorta's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research at Party's DI. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party's DI. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm used to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, Please send him my regards. Got it. Will do. See you later, Kale. Wait! Look who it is! Thank goodness you're okay. We were so worried about you. Hey! This was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment! Actually, it's very smart of the Traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, the Doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the Doctor by myself. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. Hmm. Paimon feels like only the real Nahida could come up with such an obscure analogy. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people alright? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. Whew. What a relief. The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. Ugh, it feels like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the Doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Actually, Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party's DI? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy, so I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble.
traveler? It is you! Ah! The voice! It's Hapasia! Ah, oh, what a pleasant surprise! It's so nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Satyavada life? Oh, I see. That's right, we're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Papasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means... Oh, you're not in training anymore? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pariporna life? <laughs> what do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the Divine. <sighs> you did it? Congratulations! <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last! When my consciousness made contact with the gods... Ah, uh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was! That sounds incredible! Oh, all right. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the Divine. You... you can do that? I've never heard of anything like that, but... If you want to give it a try, I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit borneo with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Uh, we're using that incense again? All right now. Hold my hand. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. Ready? It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Valuing strength above all, she saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs>
actually just see the Balladeer's memories? Everything matches what we know about him. But how is he connected to the divine consciousness that Hapasia was talking about? You saw it, right? You felt it, right? Oh, such a majestic god! Such a noble will! Such sublime emotion! Alas, shame! If only... If only that which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart! Oh, oh great and merciful god! Please grant me forgiveness and salvation! Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri in a life, but rather... Ah! You! Why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? Apeja? That's how I always thought everything should be. Wait... Have I... Already lost my mind? Wait, something isn't right! The Traveler's back? Nahida was controlling your body for a while. It seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. After that, Tainari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? Wait, then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness. So I can't journey with you anymore. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. <sighs> oh no! He is trapped in the sanctuary of Surasthana for goodness time! Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. Oh, that makes sense! Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing! She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knew 
knows the moon illusions and lies are from that alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Huh. Do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? But she isn't with us anymore. Uh, think we'll be okay? Paimon. You said Sanctuary of Suristana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, the consciousness who was occupying the Traveler's body is... the Dendro Archon? Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation, safe to say I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so... I trust you. Thank you, Tainari! Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the Sages have been working on? Ah, that... While I was indeed invited to join that project, the Sages were always secretive about its scope and goals, so I eventually declined. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermansoul. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? What? Do you have any evidence? Hmm. Hmm. So that's what happened. That explains why Hypatia's symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. It's because she made contact with the consciousness of a new god who is still in the process of being born. Tainari, did you leave the Avidia Forest because of Hypatia? I did. I noticed Hypatia's mental anomalies, but since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Pardee's D.I. and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. If I didn't take action, Hypatia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, doomed to a life of exile at Aru Village. Now that you mention it, I knew the Academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser Lord Kusanali, but... But I still didn't expect them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god. Looks like I made the right decision by not accepting their invitation. The Doctor and the Balladeer. We have two Fatui Harbingers in Sumeru. Sounds like we're in for a bad time. From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene. But then... What is the connection between creating a new god and restoring Ermansoul? Yeah, it feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the sage's goals. Right, we've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. How about you, Tainari? What are you going to do? I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things to help Papasia. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rabat. That'll be your fastest route. Come find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. May the Spirit of Wisdom go with you. Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully Hapasia will feel better soon. We're off then! Before us lies Aru Village, the safe haven of the desert folk. Whoa, this landscape is really something else. What a cool place! Let's go check it out! Thank <laughs> you. 
sign. <laughs> Unless my memory fails me, we have barely spoken two words to each other before now at the Academia. Would you care to enlighten me as to when and how I invited the General Mahamacha's wrath? Oh, Haytham. Do not think you can escape my judgment just because you managed to escape my attack. <laughs> judgment? So that's how you'd characterize your actions here, is it? Or would elimination perhaps be a more accurate description? Had I used my full strength, not even this traveler would have been able to stop me. Though styled like an assassination, I sought only to ensure that my target would be unable to flee or resist. Standard practice for the Matra, as well you know. Seemed to me more like your own personal touch. Yes. General Mahamatra Sino, head of all the Matra at the Academia. He's a formidable hunter, and the ultimate nightmare for any who have committed academic crimes. You seem to have placed a lot of trust in Al Haytham, to the point of blocking an attack for him. If I were you, I'd never choose to side with him. I wouldn't believe a single word that comes out of his mouth. I have been pursuing this scribe for a long time. I urge you, stand back and do not seek to defend him any longer. Otherwise, there will be consequences. Has Alhatham done something wrong? Hyman doesn't think he's as bad as you've made him out to be. I won't waste my breath explaining things. Alhatham, I saw it during our fight. Take it out. The Divine Knowledge Capsule you're hiding on your person. Unless you want me to retrieve it for myself. Hmm. <laughs> Very perceptive of you. Nothing escapes a Matra's senses. Wait! The Divine Knowledge Capsule? Didn't it fall into the Matra's hands in Port Ormos? No wonder you speak with such confidence, Sino. But I must admit... I'm very curious. What does this capsule mean to you? And why, as General Mahamatra of the Academia, are you all alone in the desert? As far as I'm aware, the other Matra have been speculating about your disappearance. Have you been given a mission that's, let's say, morally dubious? If I was the real target of your mission, what was stopping you from simply using your authority and resources to judge me within the walls of the Academia? <coughs> I should have known you'd be difficult to deal with. You two! Ugh. What should we do, Traveler? Paimon feels like we can't trust either of them! Ahem. <clears throat> well, look at you two, acting all tough and self-righteous over there. Wait! Yeah, sure looks that way. Two giants from the Academia duking it out once and for all. Not something you get to see every day, that's for sure. Listen, I know you academic types love to fill up your big brains with self-righteous morality and lord your empty rules and virtues over each other. But how dare you bring your petty disputes into the safe haven of Aru Village? It seems like someone's gonna have to beat some sense into your thick skulls until you finally learn to respect these grounds. <sighs> hey, did either of you hear a word I just said? Whoa, what's going on? The wind's so strong! Is this a sandstorm? Paimon's gonna get blown away! Ch another sandstorm? What's up with these recently? Hey! All of you, over here, quickly! We have to take- Sounded like Candace. Ugh, come on, you two. Jeez, are all of you academia folks such hard work? Move it! All right, stop yelling. 